Are you afraid to get out of your comfort zone and move forward? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. What is that one thing most people are afraid of? It's change, especially when it's painful or uncomfortable. But you have to go through the change to become more phenomenal in life. This story will help you understand the same. The story of an eagle. The eagle has the longest lifespan of its species. It can live up to 70 years. But to reach this age, the eagle must make a very difficult decision. In its 40th year, the eagle's long and flexible talons can no longer grab a prey which serves as food. Its long and sharp beak becomes bent. Its old aged and heavy wings, due to their thick feathers, stick to its chest and make it difficult to fly. Then the eagle is left with only two options, die or go through a painful process of change. This process lasts for 150 days or five months. The process requires the eagle to fly to a mountain top and sit on its nest. There the eagle knocks its beak against a rock until it plucks it out. Then the eagle will wait for the new beak to grow back, after which it will pluck out its talons. When its talons grow back, the eagle starts plucking its old aged feathers. And after this, the eagle takes its famous flight of rebirth and lives for 30 more years. Why is change needed? In order to survive and live, we too have to start the change process. In order to take on a new journey ahead, let go of your negative old limiting beliefs. When it rains, all birds occupy shelter, but the eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds. Open up your mind and let yourself fly high like an eagle. In today's Gospel reading, four men carrying a paralyzed friend to have Jesus heal him encounter a problem with a huge crowd blocking any possible path to Jesus. Unable to have an easy way to him, they raise their friend up the roof, cut a hole there and bring him down to Jesus with ropes inside the house Jesus was staying in. Perhaps they were adhering to the maxim, necessity is the mother of invention. The four men felt they needed to get through for Jesus to heal their friend. They racked their brains to find a way. They may have borrowed ropes or bought them or brought them in anticipation of this possibility. They needed to destroy a permanent structure, perhaps to the consternation of its owner, which is another idea worth reflecting on, but not today, to get into the house. We have different levels of comfort when something new, something different and challenging, something unusual confronts us. When changes in our life happen, we can look at our response using the words comfort and move. For a number of us, it takes time to adjust to change. When we are displaced from our center of comfort, for example, when we transfer residences, travel for the first few times, getting a new job, working in a new setting, meeting people for the first time, it takes some time for us to adjust. Akin to being in a foreign place, we move slowly, with caution, and we look forward to eating home-cooked meals from our childhood. We seek our comfort food. It takes time to adjust to something new, say after grieving from the loss of a loved one, either through death or through a breakup, we try to move on. It needs us to forgive or be forgiven before we can start anew. Just like this paralyzed man, he needed Jesus to first forgive him for his sins before he received complete healing, before he could rise, take up his mat, and go home. We can also respond to change in a way that limits our potentials from being realized. We may consider this change adverse at the time we received it, as from the previous example of a dissolution, discontinuation, or termination. When change is introduced in the form of a new idea, system, or process, or a proposal that is out of whack from what we are accustomed to, we reject it and flush it out immediately in the comfort room. The process, progress, ours or for the many, is moved back from happening completely. But when, for example, a visionary leader comes along and perseveres to create new pathways to do the unpopular, to dream beyond the conventional, or when immediate impact is achieved and substantial improvements are made and seen, Additional adherents and advocates 
are won over and eventually people move out of their comfort zones. Adaptation may be slow, but happens out of perseverance and prayers. In an era where faith in Jesus Christ has become diminished by the flashing lights of the secular world and the adoration we give to celebrities of Tinsel Town, we must find new ways to bring people back to Christ. St. John Paul II exhorts us to look to the future with commitment to a new evangelization, one that is new in its ardor, new in its methods, and new in its expressions. In the end, it is only when we find true and lasting comfort by allowing ourselves to bask in our Lord's presence will we be able to move forward and experience true peace and joy in our lives. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, when change happens in my life, let me not reject it immediately, but seek your wisdom to discern the possibilities and opportunities of what I can become if I move forward to accept it. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.